Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to be doing an Apple Watch beginner's guide. So basically these are some tips and tricks that you can use while using your Apple Watch. This can ultimately just make your user experience much better and you can just basically use it with some few hacks that you maybe did not know with your Apple Watch. So this is the Apple Watch Series 3 in the gold color. But yeah, I'm just going to show you guys some tricks of things that you can do while using your Apple Watch. So a cool thing that you can do on the Apple Watch is customize your watch face. So an easy way to do this on your Apple Watch is basically just force touching, which means you're pressing on the screen really hard. And then you'll see she linked her photos to her Apple Watch. And then you can just scroll through and choose a photo that you'd like for that day maybe. So I'm just going to go with this one and I can click on customize. Now here you can see I can position the time and everything but I'm just gonna leave it as it is but then when I swipe here I can adjust more things like I can adjust what I want here to be so I can either make it the date or I can set my heart rate there none I can just leave it empty I can add a stopwatch sunrise weather um, I think I'm gonna go with the date here can also add calendar or battery life so I'm just gonna go ahead with date and then I can click down here and then I can put something here as well so I can go ahead and put in battery events date again or heart rate I think this is the best one um, messages so yeah this is what the watch face looks like and that with the customizations you can still go th and scroll through your other watch faces which is not customized, but um, yeah, this is basically what you can do to customize your watch face. Here you can see all her watch faces with her photos, but you can always go to Face Gallery on the Apple Watch app and select all their um, Apple Watch faces. So yeah, I, this is probably my favorite, the Siri one. It's just my preference. I'm more of like that. That's kind of more my style, but yeah, you can obviously go here and add more things to your face gallery as well. Another thing you can do on your Apple Watch, when you have a bunch of notifications, now she only has one and that's a message from me, just saying hi. But if you have multiple notifications, and it can be really tiring if you have to go ahead and clear every single one. So basically what you do is you force touch on your notifications and then you just say clear all and it will clear all of your notifications just really easy and quick so now let's look at another feature and this is in messages go here click on messages and go here to your text now what you can do here is go ahead and you can dictate a message by just saying hi how are you and then it will dictate your message And that is basically it. I Sorry, I <laughs> spoke too much. But um, yeah, that's basically all you have to do to dictate your message. You can also add emojis. So um, sorry. you have your emojis um, here. And you can scroll through and have the Apple Watch emojis. So um, you can add a bit of different faces to it. Here you can see all the faces. I really like this. Um, but I don't know if you knew this, but um, if you have, maybe you've chosen this one. And then you can go ahead and force touch on that and it turns it red automatically. So then you'll have a bunch of red emojis. So that's really cool, just a customization thing you can do. But yeah, you force touch it again and it goes back to yellow. You have all the hearts. Um, different kinds of hearts and you can also force touch that to change the color and it changes to blue then you obviously have the hand and um, all your normal emojis that you would normally use so yeah this is also something you can do on messages which I think is really really cool I know a thing my sister usually does is just scribble a message back so basically you go like H and I and it makes hi you can also click on space and something but yeah then you just send that so yeah, that's also something you can do. Okay, so once you're at your app layout, you can see all your different apps in this form. But now if you force touch this, then you will see you can either have it grid view, which is which is on right now, or you can have it list view. So basically your apps will lay out like this. So this depends on every person which they prefer. But yeah, this is also a nice thing you can do if you prefer rather this kind of layout 
over a normal grid layout. But okay, so if you maybe want the grid layout or you have the list layout, you can go ahead and um, you can long press and then you can start to move apps around. So I can select this app and I can put it here basically. So that's also a nice thing you can do just to customize it a bit if you want certain things to be there or not. You can also click on the X here and you can delete an app, but it won't be deleted forever. You can add it by going into the Apple Watch app again on your phone. If you want to customize your app on your Apple Watch and you find that a bit uncomfortable, you can go to the app um, on your phone, the Apple Watch app again. Then you can go ahead and click on App Layout and you, through here you can remove and move apps around. So that's really nice if you don't want to move your apps around on the Apple Watch, but rather do it on your phone. While we're here, I just want to show you guys how to add music onto your Apple Watch. So basically, you can connect your Apple Watch to your AirPods or wireless earphones, whichever you have. But then you can go ahead and go to the music app. And then you can add music. So you can see she has all the playlists and albums. So I'm going to go to a playlist and maybe add this playlist. So then this is added to your Apple Watch and then you can basically just play music to your AirPods from your Apple Watch. So one of the features my sister uses most that I know I would use a lot is when you swipe up and you'll see this sign and that J basically means it will ping your phone. So I'm just going to ping her phone for a moment. And basically you can find your phone if you've lost it out somewhere in the house and you don't know where you put it that's a really convenient way to find your phone seeing as though i know i lose my phone constantly this feature is really helpful another cool thing that you can do on your apple watch which make sure this is enabled in settings is you can take a screenshot so if you have maybe reached a certain goal and you want to have that memory or show it to some of your friends or something, you can basically just go ahead and click on the side button and the digital crown and then just click on that and it will take a screenshot of your screen. So it will now go and lay on your phone in your photos gallery. So let me just show you that. So here you see the screenshot that she took on her Apple Watch. And I just think that's really cool that you have that option as well. Last thing I'm gonna be showing you guys is how to adjust the haptics so maybe if you feel like the haptics aren't strong enough or they're a little too low for you you can go ahead and go to settings down here and you can go ahead and adjust that so basically just scroll down and go to sound and haptics and then you can adjust the haptics here you can see hers is full and yeah, so you basically choose what you want it to look, feel like. You have two options. So yeah, I think the stronger one is better. But yeah, so you can just adjust that if that is something that is bothering you. Okay, so that was my beginner's guide to Apple Watch. If you enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below what you think of the Apple Watch tips that I gave you, if you liked it. And just comment down below any tips that you have to help any other people who are maybe looking for some tips. Click on subscribe by clicking on the icon in the bottom right corner. Click on the double left corner on the playlist to see all my other tech videos. Click on the bottom left corner to see my previously uploaded video. Love you guys so much. Be weird and be proud of it. Bye.